Hello friends, this video on electric current and its effects part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now comes the concept of magnetic field. Now why is it that anything that comes near a magnet gets attracted? That is because just around the region surrounding a magnet, there exists a force with which other objects get attracted. So this region within which the effect of the magnet can be felt, that is known as the magnetic field. So this is the region around the magnet within which the magnetic force can be experienced. So I'll give you a very simple example. So have you observed that if you keep the magnet in your study room and if you keep the nails in your living room, so do you think that the nails will get attracted by the magnet? Of course not. Why? Because the nails are not present within the magnetic field of the magnet. So they are not present within that region of the magnet up to which they can experience the magnetic force. Now if you start bringing the two of them closer, so you bring the magnet as well as the needles to the living room. But they are, have been kept far away from each other. So in that case also will they Will the needles get attracted? No. But when you bring the magnet considerably closer to the uh, nails, what happens? The nails get attracted. That's because now the nails are within the magnetic field of the magnet. So this region within which the magnetic force can be experienced is known as magnetic field. So, if you now if you talk about the magnetic compass, you can see that when the magnetic compass is brought near a magnet, it experiences the magnetic field and that is why it deflects. So, as you can see here, when the magnet is quite close, only then they experience this um, attraction because it, they exist within the region of the magnetic field. So now that we understood the concept of magnetic compass and magnetic field, I think we are good to go ahead with the Oersted experiment. So what he did was, he took a battery, he connected a bulb to the battery with the help of wires. And as expected what happened, current started flowing through the wire, as a result the bulb had glowed. Right? So the bulb glows because of the current flowing through the wire. Now, in order to understand if magnetic field exists or if magnetic effect is being produced by the current, what he did was he placed a magnetic compass there. So as you can see here. Now what will happen if the current indeed produces a magnetic field in that case what will happen? The magnetic compass should show some deflection. So if it showed deflection, that means a magnetic field exists here. And since there is no magnet present here, that means the magnetic uh, effect is being produced by the current which is flowing through the wire. Right? And as expected, what happened was the magnetic compass needle deflected when current passed through the wire. So as the current passed through the wire, so this needle showed deflection. So this needle showed deflection proving that a magnetic effect has been produced by the current. So this observation showed that a wire carrying electric current behaves like a magnet. So you see that this is so strange. Nobody expected this to happen. Nobody imagined that something like this could happen. That a wire through which current is flowing that is equivalent to a magnet that is behaving the same as a magnet. Not only this, it was also observed that the deflection reverses as the direction of current reverses. That's all the more interesting. So that means, let's say, when the current was blowing, flowing in this direction, that time the deflection was in this direction. Now as soon as the direction of current was reversed, the direction of deflection also reversed, which very clearly indicated that this deflection is due to this current. So it, it all the more confirmed that okay, this, it is not by chance that the magnetic needle deflected, it is because of this current only. Right. So this experiment very clearly proved that how an elect and a current carrying conductor behaves like a magnet. And from here came up the concept of magnetic effect of current. That an electric current flowing through a conductor can produce magnetic effects. So let's say if this is a current carrying conductor, 
So as current flows through it, there is a magnetic field that is established in the surrounding region. And this magnetic field is produced because the current carrying conductor is behaving like a magnet. So the conclusion of the experiment was that a wire carrying electric current behaves like a magnet and moving charges produce a magnetic field in the surrounding region. What are moving charges? Moving charges are nothing but the charges which constitute current. So ch moving charges form current. So basically current produce a magnetic field in the surrounding region. So that was concluded from Oersted experiment. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.